Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and I'm back at Restaurant Guy Sava. Gonna go for the, I think like for 15 course tasting menu. <laughs> Crazy, I know. A little starter. Yeah. Let me zoom in on that. So what is this? It is a cured foie gras, black truffle vinaigrette, and panda campagna toast. Okay. Oh. We call it a foie gras. Foie Mm. So, so good. <laughs> Let's have a few menus à la carte classique, appetizer, yeah. seafood, meat main courses. Mm -hmm. We have two testing menus options. We do have the innovation and then we do have the four or five star right here. Yeah. Testing menus are for the entire table, please. We're asking everyone to do the same testing menus. Please. Excellent. $385 per person tasting menu. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 courses. Yeah, 14 courses. That's right. Cool. And there's two wine pairings. So we have a $20 wine pairing, and then we have the prestige wine pairing, which is $375 to the cost. So, uh, uh, is it, there's like a mini, a mini Wagyu burger. You have a few questions so far? Hmm? Okay. This is the other thing we got that came before dinner, so not sure what it is, but let's give it a try. Hmm. And this is a scallion, I believe. Hmm. Scallion is good. I decided to increase the my sensitivity a little bit because uh, this room is quite echoey. Uh, that, that is a big chunk of butter. Okay. Honey whole wheat. Honey whole wheat. And this one is a milk bread. It's like a brioche. It's going to be soft. The cherry pecan, which is the fruit, cherry and pecan. Okay? Voilà. And all those. They just shape differently is whole wheat. So madame, what would you like? I got a nice selection here. <laughs> mm. First course, it looks like it's an oyster. <laughs> it's an oyster with uh, some shave ice. But let's give this a try. Mm. Gonna Instagram this out. <laughs> There's edible gold in the center of this caviar. That is awesome. So, champagne and caviar. What a way to go. Hmm. That's good. Wine number two. And then we're just gonna call steamy before we call the ocean water. So this is a blend of seaweed and water to actually enhance the natural sea flavor of the dish. Ooh. Wow, look at that. Wow, that so nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is this the ice? Dry ice. And dry ice. Oh. Okay. Cool. So you can't touch it, right? No, we don't recommend that to touch it. You know, yeah, this for so presentation is too This is a show right, right here. Well. This is a show. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> I see a piece of octopus and a few other stuff, and this is the wine that goes with it. So, mm. holy crap! Wow, that's really good. I tried the octopus. Mm, so soft. Mm. Is it garlic? Yeah, black oh, garlic. Okay. Wow, that is amazing. Mm. Wow. This is why I live the dot com lifestyle to be able to afford dinners like this. I mean, this whole dinner here, 400, 400, it's a five. And wine. 
a thousand dollars plus tip twelve hundred dollars for the night but you know live dark on lifestyle you can afford to do this kind of stuff so if you're not living it get on it this is from Sunset. So it's in the Loire Valley, France. It's the longest growing area in all of France. It's 600 miles long. This grape is called Sauvignon Blanc. It's made in a very crisp, clean, mineral-driven style. This is to add a pop of acid every time you take a bite of the salmon iceberg, which is going to be the next table site presented course. Nice. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. You're I just realized he says salmon iceberg. It's a dry ice. Fine so far? Are you okay? You're so freezing our salmon. I'm going to tell you all about it. But before I do, I would like to do like a before and after. So I would like you to try a little piece of salmon plain roll. Yeah, just so. a dash of salt and pepper. That's all. So this is the normal salmon? Yes. Mm. So, Madame Monsieur, this dish is mm. going to be about opposite extreme temperature. Mm -hmm. I just put the salmon on dry ice. What it's going to do is not going to cook the fish, but it's going to change the texture of it. And of course, the salmon will become very cold very soon. Mm -hmm. Then dishes coming from the kitchen will be extremely hot. So when we put the plates down, please don't touch the plates. Okay? Okay. Inside the plates, you're going to find some steamed bok choy, Chinese cabbage. Then I'm going to add a little chauvon gelé to give a little fennel anise flavor to the dish. Mm -hmm. And at the end, on top of the salmon, I will put a combination of citruses made of lemon, lime, and finger lime. Okay. This is reverse cooking. Exactly. It's well, uncooking. <laughs> Everybody cooks with hot, with flame, and uh, nice. now we cook with ice. So you're cooking with ice. We like to be different. You know? <laughs> be a little different, exactly. <laughs> and so like I told you, you got the oh, steamed bok, yeah, bok choy. I see it. Adding the little uh, chauveau gelé for the fennel and its flavor. Thank you. Bon appétit. Mm. Oh wow. That is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this wine balances so well. Go to Provence. This is our Commanderie oh. de la Bergemont. This is a blend of Cabernet, Syrah, and um, Mouvedre. So it's going to be a traditional blend in the south of France. The reason I do this rosé with the rouge, which is the next fish you're getting, rouge is from the northern Mediterranean coast and it's surrounded by rosé producing areas. So you have Provence, you have Vaucluse, you have Bandol. So historically the food comes first and the wine to pair with the food in that area comes second. So all rosé really accentuates some of the earthy tones and not only the fumé but also the textures in the rouge which is going to be the next course okay excellent Enjoy. cheers thank you always interesting hearing the story behind each wine i think this is number three of 12. yeah i guess by the sixth one i i won't really care <laughs> ah so what is this For this course, we do have a red mullet, it's a small red snapper from the Mediterranean. Snapper. It's served with the scale of the fish on the top, yep. flash fried for the crunchy texture, underneath frigola sarda with spinach cooked in brown butter, and I'm adding the natural juice of the red mullet to go with it. I'm going to Instagram this one now because I'm going to make some of my, my followers hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Now, that is amazing. Wow. Wow, I'm blown away. Some people say to me, you're gonna be crazy spending a thousand dollars for dinner for two, but unless you actually tried it at a restaurant at this level, you don't know, you don't know. You just don't know yet. So, you know, don't knock it till you try it. And then Fear for the extraction and then the apple gastro.
This is Armory Saint Denis. This is the village inside of Burgundy. Uh, the producer is our Jean Claude Boisset, 2015 vintage. It's 100% Pinot Noir. That's more focused on the terroir or the area where the Pinot Noir is grown, but not the grapes. Alors, you need to know it's a water base, no cream, no stock. On the top, shaped aged Parmesan cheese from Reggiano Italy, Italian, shaped black truffle from Perigord, France. On the side, toasted mushroom brioche. Dipping for dipping, so let me try that. This. Oh wow, that is so good. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Let's try with the wine. Ah. This is heaven. This is a fifth growth. It was classified in 1855 by Napoleon III as being a very high quality wine at that time from the 2004 vintage. So it's definitely gonna focus more on the earth, um, leather, tobacco. You're gonna have some plummy qualities in this wine as well, okay. um, black fruits. It's going to have some richness, medium plus body, medium acidity, and also a nice tannin as well. It should complement the pluma, which is gonna be the next course that you receive. Okay. There you are. Cheers. Thank you. Enjoy. You know, he said leather and oak. That's a tree. And a piece of cow. So this is the plume in Ibergo, the Spanish style of pork tenderloin. We serve it with the natural jus of the, of the pluma. It's been cooked on with capers. So on the right hand side, flavors of Caesar salad on baby gem lettuce. Very good. So now this is in the Languedoc. This is Clos Le Faire. This is made by Baptiste Le Faire. 2015 vintage, 90% Syrah, 10% Cabernet, a little bit more earthy and rustic. It's going to complement the next dish, which is our braised veal cheek for your main course. Nice. Okay. Enjoy, cheers. I guess if I were to buy each bottle of wine that was served here tonight, It'll probably come to, I don't know, I have no idea, probably over a thousand bucks, but I get a sample each, a glass, a small glass of each for 200 bucks, so I guess that's okay. Right up, so you're going to find the dome, which is made of spaghetti. Inside, you're going to find the veal chick confit. I don't well, know what this is, but it looks amazing. And garlic. Yeah, I'm going to finish. I mean, just to do the individual color of each droplet. It's a veal jus. Anyway, mm. wow, that is so good. Coming from the southern part of Burgundy, from an area known as Beaujolais, this is made by um, Jean Foyard from the Cru Beaujolais area known as Fleury. So these are grape called Gamay. It's very similar to Pinot Noir, but it's a little bit more fruit forward. Um, generous with the fruit, but still dry. It's going to complement the sweetness that comes off the caramelized onions for your cheese course this evening. Ooh, right, enjoy. caramelized onions. I think this is my sixth or seventh glass of wine. <laughs> uh, it's, it's usually around this point where they all kind of taste the same after a while, you know, so. Yes, this will go good with the cheese. I'm gonna take his word for it. Uh, it's, it's got a cheese on top. <laughs> then you're gonna find the Conti cheese curd, mm -hmm. which is aged for 36 months. Very buttery and nutty, some shaved Conti. Aged for 26 months. Comfy. And then you're gonna find the tweed of onion. I'm gonna finish it with the onion soup. Oh, onion soup. Et voilà, bon appétit. Oh, nice. Hmm. Definitely take the cheese in this. Goes with the wine. And what I like about this course is that it's tiny, very small, because 
you can do this tasting menu, the most small courses. When you add up 14 of them, they become very big. <laughs> that, that's a perfect tasting. Like two, three bites, I'm done. And just relax with the wine. Okay. We're having fun now. What yeah. is this? Yeah. It looks like it looks like it's glass. Red beet, around the dice red beet. Wow. With roasted is a nut, is a this nut is a powder. beet that looks like it's been encased in glass. And then you're gonna find also the lid that is the insane. Roast. So you break very gently. I guess this is the first of the dessert course. And you, and you get a little better with it. I don't want to break this. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's it's so beautiful. But anyway. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we broke. I broke it. Let's give this a try now. Oh wow! <laughs> it's a red beet dessert. Wow. Awesome. I'm, 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 I'm speechless here. I'm, I'm speechless. It's a dessert wine. Yes. Yes. Please enjoy. Ah, dessert wine. This is about the exact perfect portion for dessert wine because if you try to do the whole glass, you don't, trust me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Oh, it looks, it looks nice and small. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. it's not big. Yeah, it's good for you also. Oh, mm -hmm. it's got gold, edible gold, nice. Yes, yeah, so you're going to find the pistachio, um, sugar pistachio. Then you're going to find the Parisian of mango and uh, sweet potato, the sorbet mango, nice. the spaghetti made of mango, some gold leaf and saffron. Excellent. Bon appétit. Yeah, basically it's, it's a, course, right? you know, it's a mango, sh mango dessert. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. And the wine. Oh, good. This dessert is really sweet, but the wine pulls it back up, pulls it back and not for the sweetness. So. The style of this is called Muelo. So the grape is Chenin Blanc. Muelo refers to the sweeter style of Chenin Blanc out in Vouvre, where it has more honeysuckle, papaya, guava, mango nuances. It's going to go great with the tableside presented dried pineapple for your second dessert, okay? All right. Enjoy. Cheers. The outside is actually clay, though. So that's not the pineapple. It's Play-Doh. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> Play <-Doh. laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought of the pineapple. Okay, that's cool. So what we're doing with this pineapple is they're actually like the size of my hand from base to meat. We cut off all the sides and leave just the top and we'll let it hang in our fridge anywhere from 26 days to a month. Basically, the longer I can let it dry, the smaller it gets and the sweeter it gets naturally. From there, oh my god, that's a dry pineapple. Yeah, I'm about to break it to pieces too. So okay. It's a little bit louder than the clear times. We dry it for a month. We try and get the more time, uh, basically, like the better we can get it. And we'll cut it to smaller pieces from there. And according to order, we'll wrap it with lemongrass and build each pineapple to order and let it bake in the oven until almost the time that the course expired, basically. And then from there, like I said, we'll do the parchment, wrap it in lemongrass, and build the pineapple. Wow. <laughs> and what I have it paired with is a lemongrass sorbet, fresh grapefruit, aloe vera that's been soaked in hibiscus, tapioca that's also been soaked and fried in hibiscus, yuzu, and a coconut tuyo. Wow. It's a lot of big flavors. For that took a long food. time to make. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my first days when I had to learn how to make it. That pineapple's been in there for how many months? <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's Enjoy. insane. Thank you. Mm. Wow, so sweet. Why do one? What a perfect pairing. This is a so it's straw wine, so it's controlled oxidized Sauvignon. Sauvignon is the mom of Sauvignon Blanc, and they control oxidize it just like sherry. Um, so it has a lot of these nutty aromas, mm -hmm. um, it has a nice viscous uh, style to it, nice texture, uh, but also bright acid on the palate. It's gonna go great with the citrus and chocolate for your main dessert. 
Alors, yes. So you want to find the chocolat? Uh, I, I love the plate. The... Made with no eggs. Okay. Then you're going to find the bergamot shape, some Chocolate. extra lemon, and, and then you're going to find the chocolate oh. tree. Oh, nice. Good. Thank you. Final course. <coughs> Amazing. All right, final course. Let's try this. Cherry, clafouti, uh, cherry and raspberry pistachio. This one is lemon meringue tartare, and this one is uh, apricot and dolce leche tartare. Dolce leche white chocolate, dark chocolate, and then we're gonna find all the classic. Vanilla, jasmine, panna cotta, mousse au chocolat, and this is a uh, rice pudding, French vanilla. And then you're gonna find also the classic flan caramel. We're gonna move on the top. Chocolate brownie, chocolate cookie, jelly candy, lychee and green apple, classic madeleine. And then we're gonna find the green apple sorbet, and then you're gonna find the blueberry sorbet, and then you're gonna find the vanilla ice cream. Uh -huh. uh, this is part of our tasting menu. Yeah. <laughs> Are you my Chinese? I don't know. Uh, Anything you recommend? What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Me? Yeah. Me, oh, the rice pudding, the flan caramel is the best. Okay. We'll try that. Is that all you want? We'll try that. And I want one of those uh, things on the glass. Yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. beautiful. Of course. Okay. Classic Take one of Madeleine. Yes. So, Madeleine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I want to try this one. Looks nice. Whatever you like. Yeah, the lemon? Side, no, no, this one. This one looks like it's blueberry. The apricot? Yes. That's lemon blueberry. Mm, very no. little piece. I just okay. want to try it. Okay. Okay. So, Madeleine and this. Yep. Mm -hmm. If this wasn't 12 courses, I would have tried them all. I would have tried them all, but. Yeah, we'll share. Man, we're. That's a, <laughs> that's a lot of food. <laughs> little piece. Little, little. Let's oh, see what this, this is. is a Wow, mm. that is so good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, let me, all right, let me try that one. Let me try the second one now. This is like dessert heaven. Mm. Oh, oh like wow. This. Wow, this is so good. I wish I had more room. I wish I was more hungry, just that. You know, on any other occasion, this would be amazing, but now that I'm totally full, oh, I'm trying to find room to just... Luckily, this is tasting menu. So, mm, just getting a tasting of this stuff. There's one more? There's one more dish. Oh, wow. Okay, why did I get another dish? Let's see. Let's see. There you go. $1,060.85. So, there you go. To conclude a little palate cleanser, very yeah. light and refreshing. It's Earl Grey tea sorbet. Earl Grey tea. Black pepper English cream. Nice, thank you. All right. Great way to finish it. Basically, one bite. One bite's all you need. One bite. Palate cleanser. Mm.